Welcome to the demo of the 2D Platform Controller, a substitute for character controller or physics-based solutions to character movement in 2D and 2.5D platform games. Let's see this in action. Moving left and right. Hitting our head. Jumping and double jumping. Walking on a slippery platform. A conveyor belt. moving platform, using wall jumps, walking on sloped platforms. We can interact with any kind of collider. Let's add a capsule to the scene, position it correctly. View as well. Let's put it up here. So you can also use mesh colliders if you want curved or smoother curves as opposed to the, the structure of cubes I've built over here. Now let's look at setting up a character. So we're going to drop 3D model on our character, on our controller, sorry. And we're going to position him correctly. We're going to use some of these widgets to control the position of the character. So firstly, let's reduce the number of colliders. We don't really need that many. And now, let's position them in a way that's probably closer to what we want with this character. I won't do a very accurate model. Primarily because this character animations are not great for a platform game. We need some, some room for him to swing his arms. I think that will be enough to get going. So if we just do that, we'll see that little character is capable of moving around. But of course we have no animations. So let's drop in one of these scripts. So animations are sent as events and there's a couple of sample animators. Just make sure I'm using the right one there. Uh, so there's an animator for sprites using Sprite Manager 1 as a sample. It's really quite easy to set up these animators. We have a look at Model Animator, which we're about to use. It's really only a few lines of code. So now that we've connected that, let's hit play again, and we'll see our character is now animated, and it performs just like the other guy, although it doesn't have particularly good animations for things like wall jumps. Now all the settings for the character, such as his speed and the height of his jumps, are settable in the editor. So for example, let's turn off double jumps, and let's change the jumps so that the longer you hold the jump button, the higher the character will jump. So now we can do a little jump, or we can do a big jump. without double jump can't actually get on top of my platforms. Let's turn double jump back on and let's decrease the drag so that he slides around a bit more 
increase the acceleration, increase the run speed. So now we've got a much faster character.